Hi, Linda Bowen here from StampingWithLinda.com, your cardiologist since 1997, helping you create cards from the heart. If you joined me last week, I showed you the technique to do a peekaboo die technique, where I layered three pieces of designer series paper and cardstock and cut out the center so that my flower appears on the other side. If you have not seen this video, make sure you check, check out my YouTube channel or my blog for details on that. But when I cut through that, what I got was a PNZ with the designer series paper. So today I'm just going to show you a very quick technique where we're going to stamp right on that designer series paper and it is going to give us a fun different look to our pansies because we have that gingham check in the back. Isn't that pretty? So let me show you as I put the card together. I have um, another one of those pansy step stamped on the designer series paper and then one just stamped on the pale, uh, oh, I can never remember what the name of that, um, pale papaya, pale papaya um, cardstock. Then what I have is the in color um, gems. Um, I believe these are on back order right now. They are very pretty. They are a rhinestone look with our colors and the in color. I have taken the favorite die set right now. It is called uh, scallop contours and I have taken a piece of Calypso coral and cut that and it's kind of fun because it gives a scallop with a dotted edge to that. I have also taken my Stitch So Sweetly dies, die cut a piece of basic white, have two pieces of the designer series paper. I believe one is, they're both three quarter, one is by five and one is by, one is three quarter by five and a quarter, the other is five and a half. I have taken and die cut some of the leaves and those are in the soft succulent. I took a piece of Whisper White. This actually measures four inches by five and a quarter. And I used the new Stitch Whimsy dies. A love, love, love does not die cut, but gives you a nice border. So let's go ahead and get started. This piece is four and an eighth by five and three eighths. I have my card base, the standard five and a half by eight and a half. We're going to add that to our card front. So just giving us a little hint of that pale papaya on the back. Now we're going to add that basic white piece. Going to then, I think what, oops, that's the longer one. I want the shorter one. I think we're going to add our scallop first. Right about, that's five and a quarter inches long. I'm gonna put that right about there. Now we are going to take that shorter piece of designer series paper. Remember that the petal, the pansy petal is my tutorial for this month. So I've got lots of fun um, ideas in that tutorial, none of which I, what I'm doing, let's see if I can lift this. And I'm not going to be able to, really don't, didn't want that quite so low, but let's go ahead and take um, my blending brushes and we're just going to go in and soften that white piece. 
just all around with that Calypso Coral. Got that. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to find that thank you. This is from the Pansy, a stamp set. And we're going to stamp the thank you. Going to add some dimensionals. Let's go ahead and put that right about there. We are going to add our pansies. Again, this one I just stamped on the Pale Papaya, and then the other two are actually stamped on the Designer Series paper. I think sometimes we forget, or at least I forget, to stamp on that Designer Series paper. So we've got these. I could have cut out the centers of the flowers, the pansies, but instead I'm going to go in and I am going to grab um, those gems and I think I'm going to put, let's try a purple center. This is the fresh fuchsia. We've got those. Now let's go in and add our leaves. So just a great card to use maybe some of those scraps you have laying around with the designer series paper. We just used that little strip that was three quarters of an inch. So let's tuck a leaf underneath there. Maybe one underneath here. I think sometimes we forget about all the little scrap pieces that we have hanging around that we can use for the front of a card. Still getting used to the glue dots, but it's starting to fall in place and I'll remember that they're on the other side. So there we have it, just a fun card using that scrap designer series paper that we had from our cutout and stamped right on it. Hope you've enjoyed today's video. Talk to you real soon. Oh, I almost forgot. I'm going to put this on the inside so that it matches all the way through. Hope you've enjoyed today's video. Bye-bye.